In the medical industry, there are many disciplines. They all share the goal of improving, saving, or changing lives. Join us as we meet the people, discover the technology, and explore the organizations of this vital industry. Advances in drug therapies are bringing new hope to us all. Let's take a look at the field of modern medicine. Pharmaceuticals play a critical role in helping to improve, extend, and save lives. Their value is especially evident in the field of oncology. With the costs of developing a cancer drug reaching up to $1 billion, however, many pharmaceutical companies are using a step-by-step -step approach. First, advancing their most promising drugs for one cancer type, line of therapy, or stage. Additionally, drugs are first developed for the largest markets, like breast and lung cancer, thus delaying the time it takes for life-saving and life-enhancing drugs to get into the hands of physicians and patients. Drugs for other cancer types, like thyroid, kidney, and certain subgroups of non-small cell lung are not as aggressively developed. It is not wise for a pharma company to invest a large portion of their R&D dollars on a single drug. Thus, the pharma company pursues a step-by-step -step approach, which they first develop the drug for one indication, followed by another. A pharma company may also first go after second-line treatment, then first-line treatment for the same type of cancer. While these approaches help to reduce the pharma company's overall risks, their potential lost revenue could be in the billions of dollars. Years go by while patients in need wait, without access to life-saving or life-enhancing drugs. Pleasanton, California headquartered SFJ Pharmaceuticals has developed a revolutionary model to overcome these drug development challenges. SFJ captures the lost value for pharmaceutical companies and patients by taking drugs which are proven in one type of cancer and helping to accelerate them through clinical development for many different types and stages of cancer. This enables new and innovative drugs to become available to more patients sooner. Our goal is to give patients more options and more hope. We invest in clinical development and approval of drugs in late stage development. If the drug is not approved, then we lose our investment and our pharmaceutical partners owe us nothing. If the drug is approved, we receive a royalty over an extended period of time. SFJ has clinical development and regulatory employees in the U.S., Japan, China, Taiwan, Korea, Singapore, India, and Europe. We have partnered with ASI, a leading Japanese pharmaceutical company, for the development of a drug for radioiodine refractory thyroid cancer. There is presently an unmet need for patients with this form of thyroid cancer. We have also partnered with Pfizer for two phase three studies. Pfizer is developing a drug named dacometinib for second line treatment of non-small cell lung cancer, while SFJ is developing the drug for first line treatment. In this way, dacometinib could be available to a wider range of patients sooner. We're also developing Pfizer's drug excitinib for the adjuvant treatment of kidney cancer, for which there are currently no approved drugs. SFJ helps pharmaceutical companies maximize the value of their assets while reducing risk and expense. Life-saving drugs are brought to market more efficiently, providing opportunities for patients where there are no other approved drugs. Radioiodine thyroid cancer is a rare disease. However, incidence rates have increased over the past 25 years. There's only one drug approved so far, which delays tumor growth by a maximum of five months. So these patients are definitely in need for more treatment options. Most patients are cured by their surgery for their renal cancer, but there are groups of patients with a relapse rate of more than 50%. We'd really like an adjuvant treatment that we can give after surgery for those patients. So we now have effective drugs in advanced renal cell cancer. We're doing trials in that adjuvant setting for those patients. Life-saving drugs are also brought to a wider group of cancer patients sooner. Over the past 10 years, we've developed very effective drugs that can induce a high tumor response rate. However, the median duration control is only about 10 to 12 months. So now we're in desperate need of newer, or better drug that can prolong the duration of control for patients with EGFL mutations. The speed of cancer research is increasing, and improvements in cancer drugs are greater than ever. 
SFJ's innovative partnership model will continue to play a key role in maximizing pharmaceutical companies' pipelines and shareholder value, and more importantly, bringing life-saving drugs to patients in need.